So in this video, we'll talk about topic 5.2 and we will focus only on SPDF notation and orbital diagram. This is the introduction of topic 5.2. We will go deeper on the part 2 video later on. So let's start. What is actually SPDF notation and orbital diagram? Where do they come from? It's actually related to your topic 5.1. Where in the 5.1, we know that when n equals to 1, l can be 0 because it will be 0 until n minus 1. So 1 minus 1 will be 0. So when n equals to 1, l will be 0. And since l is 0, therefore this guy will be as s orbital. S orbital at energy level 1, it will be called as 1s. And when L equals to 0, M will then equals to 0. So M equals to 0 means I only have one orientation of the S orbital. So in this one orientation means I will only have one orbital. And in this one orbital, I can put into two electrons. Why two electrons? Because I can put into a positive half electron or a negative half electron. So in one orbital, I can have two electrons. So the total electron at n equals to 1 will be 2. And the SPDF notation will be written as 1s2. The 1 is n. The s over here is s orbital. The 2 over here is the maximum electron that can be put in into this orbital. While our orbital diagram will look like this, we will represent the orbital by using boxes. So one orbital will be represented by one box. And I only have one orbital over here, and therefore this box will be labeled as 1s. And how many electrons I can put in? One orbital can maximum put in two electrons. So one clockwise, another one anti clockwise. So the arrow will be half headed to the top, and another arrow will be half headed to the bottom. So this will be labeled as 1s. One will be the n, s will be the s orbital. We won't have 2 over here because the number of electrons will be represented by using the arrows. So over here is the electrons that you can put in. And this is what we call SPDF notation and orbital diagram. So in n equals to 1, L can be 0, and therefore M will be 0, and S can be positive half or negative half. So this is the reason why you have your SPDF notation and orbital diagram. Next, let's look into N equals to 2. When N equals to 2, L can be 0, L can be 1. When L is 0, it's a S orbital. When L is 1, it's a P orbital. So you have a 2S and 2P. When L is 0, M will be 0. 0, one number. So you will only have one orbital. But when L is 1, your M can be negative 1, 0, positive 1. And you will have three orbitals over here. And bear that in mind, one orbital can put into two electrons. So in 2s, you can have maximum two electrons. While in 2p, you have three orbitals. Three orbitals means you're going to have three boxes. And in every boxes, you can have maximum two electrons. Therefore, you can have maximum six electrons in the 2p. And the total electron that you can have when n equals to 2 is 8. 
and the SPDF notation will look something like this. 2S2 2P6 Why 2S2 2P6? Again, that is a N, that is the M. This is the orbital. The S represent the orbital that you have. So I have S orbital, I have P orbital. And the 2 is the maximum electron that you can put in. The 6 is the maximum electron that you can put into the P orbital. Let's look into the orbital diagram. For a 2S, you only have one orbital. Therefore, we only have one box for 2S. While 2P, you can have three orbital. Therefore, for the 2P, you will label it as three boxes like this. The 2S maximum can have two electrons in opposite arrow, while the 2P can have maximum six electrons because every box can take up maximum two electrons. And that will give rise to total eight electrons when n equals to two. Bear that in mind, when n equals to 2, L can be 0 and 1. That is your S orbital. And also that is your P orbital when is L equals to 1. So your M can be 0. And also your M can be negative 1, 0, positive 1. And your S can be positive half and also negative half. Last but not least, let's look into n equals to 3. When n equals to 3, l can be 0, 1, and 2 because l maximum will be moving to n minus 1. So when 3 minus 1, it will be 2. So l can be 0, 1, and 2. So let's look at 0. So when it's 0, we know that it's an s orbital. So 3s. L equals to 1 is a p orbital. And when it's a p orbital, I have 3p. 2 means it's a d orbital. Therefore, I have 3d. And when L is 0, m will be 0. So when L 0, m become 0, I only have one orientation. So I will be only having one orbital. So how many box for this? One. And in one box, maximum two electrons. And over here, when L is one, it's a p orbital. And therefore my m can be negative one, zero, positive one. I have three orbitals. And the three orbitals, as you can see over here, the three orbital represent three boxes. I can have three boxes. And every box, how many electrons? Two electrons in every box. And therefore, I can have maximum six electrons. And the 3D, last but not least, is a 3D because it's a D orbital when L equals to two. Therefore, when L equals to two, your M will then be Negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2. How many numbers you have? 5. Therefore, you are going to have 5 orbitals. As you can see, I have 5 orbitals. How many boxes do you think we have over here? We will then have 5 boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And every box is maximum 2 electron. 2 electron, 2 electron, 2 electron, and 2 electron. So total, I will give rise to 10 electron. And therefore, when n equals to 3, the maximum electron that you can put in is 18. And the SPDF notation will be something like this. 3s2, 3p6, 3d10. And the orbital diagram of the 3s, 3s will be 1, 2. The 3p 
will be three boxes with maximum six electrons. Label the boxes 3P. One, two, three, four, five, six. Last but not least, your 3D will be a five boxes with two electrons in every boxes. And this will be your 3D orbital. Bear that in mind, the number of electrons that I mentioned is the maximum number of electrons that you can put in. So that is the SPDF notation and orbital diagram. As a conclusion, the SPDF notation will be looking something like this. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6 and also the orbital diagram will be like this. Every boxes must be labeled with the correct orbital. So 1s with 2 electron and then you can have 2s with 2 electron as well. And then you move on to your 2p where 2p will have 3 orbitals. Therefore you have 6 electron maximum. And then you move on to your 3s. Make sure you label them. And then you have your 3p. So that is your SPDF notation and orbital diagram. As a conclusion, S orbital maximum two electron. In a p orbital, maximum six electron. In a d orbital, maximum ten electron. And before we end this video, let's look into some example to make sure that you understand this. So when n equals to one, we know that l must be zero. So l is zero means it's an s orbital. And that is the reason why you are having 1s. And when L is 0, M equals to 0. So when M equals to 0, only one number. So you only have one orientation. When you only have one orientation, that's why you only have one box for 1s. And s can be positive half or negative half. That's why you can have maximum 2 electron and 2 electron in the 1s. So I have a question over here. Will 1p exist? So let's look into it. When n equals to 1, l must be 0. Agree? So when l only can be 0, will the p orbital exist? p orbital means l must be 1. Therefore, 1p does not exist. Why 1p does not exist? Because when n equals to 1, l can only be 0. But l can be only 0, therefore only s orbital exists in n equals to 1. How about 2D? Will 2D exist? 2D means N equals to 2. L over here must be 2. So let's see. When N equals to 2, everybody knows that L only can be 0 and 1. And that's it. L cannot be 2. Therefore, 2D does not exist. Why 2D does not exist? Because when n equals to 2, L can only be 0 and 1. Therefore, in n equals to 2, there will be only what orbital? There will be only S and P orbital.
Last but not least, three p. Will three p exist? So let's see. When m equals to three, l can be zero, one, two. So we know that zero is s orbital, one is p orbital, two is d orbital. So three p. So you will have. 3p in the n equals to 3. Yes, 3p exists because when n equals to 3, l can be 0, 1, and 2. And there will be s, p, and d orbital when n equals to 3. So this doesn't exist, this doesn't exist, and this exists. So I hope you understand now, how do we write the SPDF notation and also how do we write the orbital diagram. Make sure you can understand them, make sure you write them properly. We will look into the rules and regulation in detail in the next video. So I'll see you again, and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Have a good day. Thank you.